display color. Hello everyone, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com. Today is November 26, 2012, and the current time is 12, 12 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Taking a look around the Ring of Fire, as I'm going to be doing a global earthquake update for you today. This is earthquakes above a 4.5 and higher in the past seven days as of today. And as you see around the Ring of Fire, it looks very quiet, so I'm going to zoom in real quick. And I'm going to try to bring it down just a little bit to about a 3.8 or 3.7 here. You see here Hawaii is showing some signs of activity at a 4.3 and a 3.8 in Hawaii. I do believe that Hawaii is something we do need to watch here uh, over the next few weeks and, and uh, just keep a very close eye on the area. So take a look around the Ring of Fire. Not much activity up here uh, on the Ring of Fire here on the west coast of the United States. It seems to be very quiet. Again, this is at a 3.8 and higher in the past seven days. Going right to the area where we always watch around Indonesia, uh, Banda City, this location here, uh, still showing signs of activity. We had a 5.5 within the past hour here in China, so definitely watching all the area around the Ring of Fire over the next few weeks. However, I do think that we're going to see an uptick in earthquakes because there has been some activity for solar uh, activity here on spaceweather.com. It says here a CME hit Earth's magnetic field on November 26th at approximately 0500 UT, November 25th at 9 p.m. EST, approximate time. And it says it's a relatively weak impact but could spark minor geomagnetic storms. So we'll watch it in the next few weeks as we see this geomagnetic storm as possible over the next 24 to 48 hours and uh, keep watch on that. So once again, just keep a, an eye on the ring of fire and I'll keep you updated and posted if I can if any earthquakes above a 6.0 or higher occur. And I am actually working a little bit hard and harder, harder than normal. I'm working uh, 48 hours a week right now, so it's going to probably be a little bit hard for me to do a video update. But if anything does occur and if I am available to do it, that video, I'll definitely post it here on YouTube and on the website. Uh, so once again, taking a look at the West Coast, looks pretty quiet. Uh, I'll bring it down to a zero and higher on the earthquakes. Uh, zero and higher as we see quite a bit of activity ports in California, which is normal. And the only thing that's different in California is the earthquake uh, seismic activity. The, the actual magnitude of the earthquakes have been a little bit higher than normal, uh, above a 3.0 and higher. So that's something we definitely have to watch in California as there could be another possible earthquake, maybe a five or higher there somewhere in Northern California into Southern California. So we'll have to be vigilant in those areas. So once again, I want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to the channel. We've got uh, quite a bit of uh, subscribers, over 2,000 now. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Stay alert, be cool, and have a nice day.